Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday, we're in the bathroom. I just washed up, Maverick's down for a nap. My mom and Danny are still here. They're leaving tomorrow, which I'm so sad about. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. We are getting a lot of stuff done today while I have my mom's help because they're leaving, I think, bright and early tomorrow morning. Getting ready, we have Maverick's um, four month pediatrician appointment today. Dylan's gonna meet me at that. He's at work right now. Um, and I thought we would just start off a new vlog, a little Nashville, a few days in the life. I'm not exactly sure like what this vlog's gonna entail, but obvious elephant in the room. I dyed my hair a little bit darker. Well, actually a lot darker. I got all the blonde taken out that I had put in right after I had Maverick. I knew that the blonde wasn't gonna last long. I kind of just like wanted it for summertime. They like with the roots and all that and getting into the hair salon and all that with Maverick, it's a little bit hard to keep up with the blonde. And honestly, I feel like it's just like really damaging on my hair and I'm going through hair loss and all that. So I was like, let's just match it to the root and have like low maintenance hair for a while. Even though I feel like I'm losing a good bit of hair every time I shower, I'm like getting chunks of hair out. Um, I feel like my hair still looks pretty healthy and thick, especially now with it being blonde or uh, brown. I feel like it looks healthier. I did go back brown and I like it. Still has a little bit of blonde like throughout in the front. Like the pieces are a little bit brighter, but all in all, we're brunette again. But I do have a big Lululemon order. I came into my bathroom because I wanted to give you guys a haul. I placed an order on Lululemon and I wanted to thank them for working with me in today's video and sponsoring today's video. You guys know, huge, huge fan of Lululemon. It's my absolute favorite. Um, workout athleisure brand to wear. I feel like lately these days as a mom, all I'm wearing is like comfy clothes and workout clothes because honestly when I get up in the morning, I try to put on workout clothes because then I know like when he goes down for the first nap, I'll get a workout in and if I wait, I won't get one in. So I like live in these clothing items and I wanted to get a few new like workout sets. I think I have two different sets in here. I've got a cute coat, a pullover for the fall. So I just wanted to give you guys a little haul because the stuff right now that they have on their website is so good. They have so many great new fall pieces, fall colorways, all that kind of stuff. So I'll share with you guys my favorites that I picked out. I'll also link all these items down below for you guys. The fit, the fabrics, the colors, everything of Lululemon, it's just like top tier. It's my absolute favorite. I feel like every time I try like a different workout or athleisure brand, I always veer back to this stuff. It lasts me so long. The fit, the quality, everything is just like a 10 out of 10. So if you are not on the Lululemon train yet, you have got to get on it because it's like the best stuff. So I wanted to share because I did um, get like some new sizes and leggings and stuff. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a little try on because I myself haven't tried these pieces on yet. First up are these shorts. I love the black and white. Um, these are called the lightweight relaxed short, the three inch with the long liner, which is what sold me. I love a long liner on a short like this, especially because I feel like you can work out on it. Sometimes I feel like if you're wearing loose shorts, I don't feel like 100% comfortable working out on them, but these are so nice. The material is very lightweight. I love the white stripe and I love that there are pockets. I'm like so obsessed with these. I sized up because I like my running shorts a little bit looser on my legs. So I got a size eight in these and I am obsessed. They have an all black pair and I need to go on and pick those up too. Cause these are like perfect, especially for the South the fall time. Like we don't, really get fall weather for another few weeks probably. So it's nice to be able to have shorts to wear on walks and stuff. I've been taking Maverick on like nighttime walks and honestly just running around doing errands, I would literally wear this outfit. Next we have this long sleeve that I'm so obsessed with. It's like the perfect material. It's called the Love Long Sleeve and it's made with a naturally breathable um, cotton softness and stretch, which is really, really nice. I love the cut of it. I love how it dips down in the front and the back. I got a size eight. I could have done a six, but I did want it a little bit oversized. I feel like a gray, like a heather gray is such a cozy, comfy color. Perfect long sleeve for fall and winter. Great for layering. You can put under sweaters, under vests, under jackets, anything like that. So I just feel like this is like a must for the closet. Two new workout sets, which is always very motivating to get yourself into the gym. Um, I really love this color. It's like a pretty dark emerald green. I just love how they sit. They don't slide down when you're working out. They're just like the literal perfect legging. I got a sports bra in the matching color. Um, I think I need to go up a size because it's very V-neck and I just feel like if I go up to an eight, I'll be a little bit more comfortable. So I'll definitely swap this for a size eight. Here's the other workout set in this deep chocolate brown. I'm obsessed with this color. This style legging, I actually have never tried 
so i'm really excited it has a different waistband if you guys can see it kind of like drops right here which i feel like is very flattering on the body um i got a size six in these the wonder under smooth cover high rise tight in 28 link i feel like they just really suck you in and just very flattering um and then i have a matching bra again i got this bra in a size six and i feel like i need to get a size eight this is the free to be bra this is one of my favorite style sports bras from lululemon i love the back on this bra throw over this workout set just while i'm like on the go out and about um, I love a monochromatic look, so I got this pullover. I got this in a size medium, and I was obsessed with the sleeves. Where's the tag? I can give you the exact name. It's called the Soft Stream Voluminous Sleeve Pullover. And I got a size medium. The color of the collar matches the legging, and then this is like a little bit of a lighter brown, so I just think it's a really fun um, outfit to pair together. Literally obsessed. I will be wearing this all the time. <laughs> Last up, I got another jacket. I literally do not own a raincoat, which is so crazy because I feel like all it does is rain in Nashville. And I feel like with football games, it always ends up like raining. And I always have to wear one of those like big, ugly ponchos. And I never have like a chic, cute raincoat. So I decided to get this one. And I'm so excited about it. I actually already tried this on and I. Oh, my phone. Looks like it's like a cute utility jacket, but it's actually. A raincoat I got a size I want to say yeah I got a size six because it said it ran oversized I probably even could have done a size four but there's so many different pockets and compartments and little like tweaks and stuff you can do so you can make the sleeves tighter so it doesn't feel so oversized which is nice because then like rain won't get in um, this zips and buttons all the way I can show you guys the quality of every little part of this jacket is just so nice from like the zipper to the buttons you can zip it all the way up obviously and then button this so you're just like very protected i like how it's long covers the butt and then on the bottom you can unzip these sides if you want to have like a little bit more airflow almost or you can keep them zipped big pockets here that have a zipper which is really nice to keep everything dry if you want to throw your phone or whatever in there zip this all the way up and like you are not gonna be getting wet at all like i said i've been looking for the perfect raincoat and i just like have never come across one that i thought was cute and i saw this on the website and i was like wait this is the perfect rain jacket especially like with dylan um being in the coaching field and us like supporting different schools and whatnot um this i feel like is pretty neutral and will match i believe that they had a different color too so i'll have to check but i'll link like i said this for you guys i'm obsessed with it it's honestly just like a chic coat as well and there's also like pockets inside so very very nice high quality really well made raincoat i'll link everything that i showed you guys below i'll also put my sizing down below for reference if you guys want to refer to that if you're new to being a lululemon customer such a dream come true that i get to work with this brand it's like one of my favorite go-to brands and i can't believe that i get to work with them hey what's up man what's up LA? <laughs> i love brown coats <laughs> Follow me. Hey. Hey. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Mwah. We just got back from our evening walk. Maverick's like little last nap of the day is like 5.20 to 5.50 nap. It's kind of like the schedule we're following. I always try to do a walk because he always, it's like the perfect amount of time. I'll start the walk around five. It takes him about 20 minutes to fall asleep in the stroller and then he'll sleep for about 30, 40 minutes. It's always a perfect length of walk for me and then a perfect little nap for him. Now we're back. We're going to figure out dinner. Dylan is on his way home. He's getting a haircut. I think he's going to bring us Chipotle home for dinner, which I literally have not had in the longest time. So I'm kind of like excited for that, but I'm going to go play with him for a little bit. My mom and Danny left. Danny and I went on a little coffee date after Maverick's um, doctor's appointment. 
which went great. And um, Danny and I went on a little coffee date while my mom packed up and got their truck loaded. They weren't gonna leave until Friday, so she was gonna stay a whole nother week, but she needed to get home because there's a really terrible storm coming literally straight for my parents' house, which makes me so upset. I feel like they say we'll know more exactly like tomorrow because it's supposed to hit either Thursday or Friday and today's Monday. Um, oh, you're blowing bubbles. He's like so wants to talk. It's so funny. He makes all these noises and he like blows bubbles all the time. But anyways, my mom left. I sat on the couch and sob cried. I feel like no matter how old I get, I will always cry when my parents leave. And I feel like the emotions have heightened ever since I've had him. It's just been so nice to have my mom here to have the extra set of hands. And even like not even just having her help, but having like, and I'm going to cry again, but like having her presence and like having someone here has been really nice. So it's just hard because I hate, I hate, hate, hate living away from family, but that's just how it is right now with Dylan's career. And some days are harder than others and saying bye was just one of those moments. So I'll get over it like I always do, but um, it's just always hard to say bye to them. And the next time I see them won't be for a couple of weeks, but it was just like so, so nice to have my mom's help and just have her and Danny here. We had the most fun. We went to Disney on ice yesterday. I didn't vlog the weekend. I took a little weekend off of vlogging and kind of off of Instagram and stuff. Um, but we went to Disney on ice. We brought Maverick and Danny. My mom got tickets like last second. We um, realized that they were at Bridgestone Arena in downtown. So we had a little day in the city, which was really fun. And Maverick literally for like the first half of the show, he kind of slept in the carrier and then he woke up and he started fussing and I flipped him towards the stage and he literally was watching the show. Did you enjoy the show? I swear he's like four months going on three years old. It's the craziest thing. He was like locked into the show. I think it was like the bright lights and the music and stuff. He really enjoyed it. I can insert a picture of him and Danny watching it. It was really cute. I mean, probably wasn't my favorite thing I've ever been to, but for the kids, it was really fun. And it was really fun to see a bunch of kids running around and a bunch of different moms and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it makes me like, Oh, we're drooling. Makes me like excited for the future because I feel like that kind of stuff will just get more and more fun with him the older he gets. Um, but yeah, so we did that. We met Dylan for dinner after and then now it's Monday. I didn't vlog that, which I hate like telling you guys about what we did instead of showing y'all, but I just wanted to take a little weekend off of vlogging because I feel like I was kind of vlogging for a few days straight in a row and it's nice to always kind of just like take a little second. So I'm gonna play with him on the map for a little bit, have dinner with Dylan when he gets home and then we'll do like bath and all that for Mav and I'll probably see you guys in the morning. Say night night. We're in jammies right now because we've had two, not one, but two blowouts today. What's with it? It's a good bubble. <laughs> you got on your beach jammies? What's on your jammies? Oysters? Oyster, those are yummy. Like how, I just wanna eat this face up. I just wanna eat it. Hi. Hi. Are you playing? Are you playing with your toys? I'm like almost out of coffee beans. I don't even know if I have enough to make. Especially when you're a mom and you need coffee. I feel like I enjoy coffee so much, not just for the fact of like the coffee, but the fact of making the coffee, sitting and relaxing, playing with Maverick, having the coffee, all that kind of stuff. Like I've always just been into like coffee in the mornings and afternoon coffee, whatever. Now with being a mom and like actually needing coffee when I wake up because I'm so tired some mornings, Coffee has like a whole new meaning, I feel like. But anyways, we had a rough night, but it's okay. Not every night is gonna be perfect right now. I feel like we're maybe kind of hitting a four month sleep regression. I thought we like beat it since we started the schedule and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're not gonna have that. But I think we are sadly kind of going through that right now. 
it is raining outside so it's kind of like a little gloomy day but i want to get out of the house and get some stuff done today um and finish off this vlog because i didn't really vlog much yesterday um and i need to desperately wash my hair you guys like my hair is so greasy i haven't washed it since i got it done last week which is like not good i feel like i used to be able to get away longer in between washes when I had my hair extensions in but with my natural hair I'm like I just feel like it gets greasier and also I feel like post-pregnancy my hair gets greasier I don't know if it's the hormone change but I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm like I look so pale I don't know if it's the dark hair or the greasy hair or what but I'm like I need to do a little refresh today and do a full body shower and all that kind of stuff I do want to go look at two furniture stores because I'm still on the hunt for like a little chest beside the fireplace for toys because we have guests coming in two weeks and I'm like, I want to get the house cute because they haven't seen it yet. And the toys are just like kind of everywhere, which honestly isn't the end of the world. They would understand totally, but um, I just like want it to be picked up. And also for like me, I'm such a clean freak about my home and my space that I feel like at nighttime, I would love to get all the toys put up every night. So yeah, your toys. They're everywhere. You're wearing Christmas jammies in October. I bought these Christmas pajamas when I found out I was pregnant last year. Or like, not when I found out, because I found out in September. But I bought these like last Christmas because they were on like major clearance at the end of the season. And I was like, wait, those are so cute. I bought them in six months because I was like, okay, if we have him in June, he'll be like six months by December. We had him in May and it's September and he already fits it up. What is with it? What is with it? I don't even know what I was saying, basically just chatting and discussing what I want to get done today a little outing I want to do a workout I actually got a treadmill I haven't even showed you guys but we've had it since we got back from Florida and I've been doing 12 3 30 on it every day that I don't like walk outside since the weather's still nice out I have been loving going to the park and stuff and walking because I know he likes to be outside too but I mainly got it for when the season changes and it's like cold or rainy like today and I want to get a 12 3 30 walk in um so we got a treadmill we put it in the front bedroom just like tucked in the corner Corner. I ended up going with the Peloton. I put on my story like months ago, like before summer kind of, like right after I had Maverick, right after I got cleared to start like working out and all that kind of stuff. I was like, ooh, I think I would love a treadmill for the house. We used to have a Peloton spin bike, but I just like was not a huge fan of the bike. I always regretted not getting the treadmill over the bike. So I sold the bike um, when we moved into this house. And then I put on my story and asked um, like best treadmill brands. And mostly everyone said Peloton. So that's what I ended up going with because I do love the brand and their customer service and all that kind of stuff. They come and set it up for you and all that. So it was a little bit of an investment, but we will have it for forever and we love it so much. My mom used it while she was here. It has like a big screen. You can watch TV. I can get work done, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, we'll probably do a Peloton um, 12, 3, 30 today. I bought this candle from Sniff. Um, I have a code. It's Rachel10 for all their candles. They have like the best smelling candles you guys the pumpkin one's really good and then this is a collab with um the gal who owns or started half Bay harvest like all those really yummy recipes they did like an apple smash cider candle it smells so good and i've had this for like a week probably and we've been burning it for hours and it's not even like close to being halfway i mean the candle is literally huge and if you use my code it gets you a little bit of money off this is not sponsored by them i just bought this with my own money and i thought i would share I use my own code, um, but they were, I wanted to get this scent, but they were sold out of the small one. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna get the big one. And I'm honestly kind of glad I did because it's such a good, pretty candle to leave out. And it smells so good. Last night I also unboxed these, which I'm very excited to try. I'll keep you guys updated with them. I was gonna try these to help out with my hormonal acne, um, but then I found out I was pregnant and it wasn't like pregnancy safe, but it's basically just like a dietary supplement that has like turmeric, all these kind of like things that help cleanse your liver, I believe. And you take two ounces like in this little shot glass daily. And then once you open them, you keep them refrigerated. But they sent me over like a big stash of them. So I'm excited to try. I also got this in the mail from Revolve, which I was so excited about. Um, and kind of shocked that they sent it this early. It's an advent calendar for Revolve Beauty. It's the, the ultimate beauty essentials, 24 days of beauty so i'm trying to decide if i want to just like open them because we're so far away from christmas um or if i want to save it for the holidays but look at how cute this would be such a perfect gift if you want to pick this up get your hands on it now because i feel like this always sells out the closer we get to the holidays so maybe that's why they sent it so early but so sweet of them and the packaging is like super 
super cute. Do you love blowing bubbles? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> what do you want to do today? What? Oh. Are you did you get jealous? Did you get a little bit jealous? <laughs> it's okay. I still love you, Rue. I know, you're just not the baby anymore, but it's okay. You're not the baby anymore. Mavi's the baby. Hi. He's definitely starting to be way more aware of things around him and like looking at stuff and seeing stuff. When they're newborn and they like literally can't see anything, I like did not know that that was a thing. Like I didn't know that they couldn't see that far ahead. And now that he can, I feel like he's starting to pick up on like when we're eating, he's definitely like looking at it because I think he's getting more um, of his senses. So like um, smell and stuff. And he's starting to like seem interested in it. Like whenever I like eat or drink in front of him, he kind of stares at me like my coffee. Remember mommy's coffee? It's yummy. Yeah, mommy's coffee's yummy. This little bouncer thing like saves my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do when he doesn't fit in it anymore. And then this little bar, honestly, it was kind of overpriced. It's like from Baby Bajorn as well. Like, it's on their website. They have like different colored ones. I got this like neutral one because I wanted to be like that cute neutral mom. You guys all know how it goes when you're a first time mom. You wanna be that cute neutral mom. And then when your kid actually starts playing with toys, that all goes out the window. <laughs> And you want the colorful piano mat. I got this little thing. And at first, I started putting it on there when he was a little bit younger. It literally just like attaches like this. Look, he's like gripping onto it for dear life. He like wants it. Okay, I won't take it away here. You can have it back. Um, I like was like, well, that was a waste of money because I think it was like $58, something, something like kind of crazy for this thing. And I bought this and I bought the bounce receipt myself. Like I didn't put it on my registry because it is like a pricey product, but so, so worth it, you guys. Um, and it's like his favorite toy right now because he sits in this bouncer a lot because he likes to be able to see and sit up. Like he doesn't love to lay on the mat unless I'm sitting next to him on the floor, right? Obviously I can't just like sit and do that because I have to get stuff done like in the kitchen and stuff. So I'll set him on it so he can like sit up and see me. And he just loves playing with this. Like he is playing with it 24 seven. It, it keeps his attention for like a good bit, which is always nice. So anyways, I thought I would share if you're a new mom or if you're looking for something to like set your baby in. Like it's always a struggle trying to find stuff that your baby enjoys when they're in that awkward age between like wanting to sit up but can't fully like sit up by themselves yet. This is like a great transition. Also when he was newborn, this was nice, but I feel like now he really, really enjoys it. I did want to ask if you guys are a parent. Um, what age did you start introducing food? Like, I'm just like curious to know. We went to the doctor yesterday and we like got some insight on introducing foods and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to know like, you're blowing so many bubbles, you're drooling everywhere. Your jammies are soaked. Um, I just like, I'm curious to know when you started foods and like how you started it. I know there's tons of different methods. There's like the rice cereals at first, there's baby lead weeding, there's just like baby purees, there's all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm starting to like do research on my own about it. And there's this book that I want to read about like introducing foods to your baby, but let me know what you guys did. Um, and like what age you started it. Cause I feel like he's not five months yet, but I feel like I've seen people start as early as four months, which kind of freaks me out. But I just like, I'm curious to know. So let me know all your tips because someone is going to get to have food soon. Someone's going to get to start trying foods and that's going to be so much fun. You're gonna love it. Okay, do you want to go play? Should we go play? Let's go. Let's go on the mat. Come on. Let's go. Look at how strong you are. Strong boy.
before heading out, I just got Maverick in his car seat. He's all ready to go. I just got these park denim jeans in the mail. They're their um, horse shoe. I think that's what they're called. Denim, I wear size 27 in their stuff or size reference because I know sometimes it's like hard to tell what size you are in denim through like different brands. This is my first time wearing their denim, but it's really cute. Um, and then I'm just wearing a Jenny Kane cardigan and this t-shirt is from Jenny Kane as well. And I just have on some Birkenstocks, really like comfy casual, but I just didn't want to wear sweatpants. I was going to wear some workout clothes. I'm going to come home and do 12, 3.30 when he goes down for another nap. We're just going to get to the house for a little bit. Our naps have been a little tragic today, right? So I'm hoping a car ride maybe will do the trick. I'm going to drive to Brentwood. So it'll be like a 25 minute car ride. I'm going to get crema coffee. I don't know why I'm like craving crema. And then stock and trade is right there. So I'm going to look for a little piece of furniture for the nook. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I can show you quick. This little nook right here, this we're going to move. Honestly, I was sad. I thought that Maverick would enjoy this little four moms mover thing a little bit more than he did. Every time we put him in it, he kind of fusses, but we're going to move it upstairs to our bedroom. So I have somewhere to set him while I'm like making the bed and stuff in the morning and getting ready. And maybe he'll like it up there. I don't know. Maybe it's just like down here. He doesn't love it. Um, but I need a piece of furniture right here to put all of, to put all of this stuff right here so obviously at the end of the day if they had to stay here they would because maverick loves them and he plays with them all the time all day every day but it's kind of like an eyesore to the living room if you know what i mean so i think it does look better open but for the time being while we have like a bunch of baby toys down here i feel like this is the best scenario for a piece of furniture to hold stuff so i'm looking for some type of cabinet or something um to go right there the car seat always does the trick he's like already falling asleep so we're gonna head out Got the front door key lock everything up grab my water how cute are these little twin beds these would be so cute for a beach house like a little guest room side by side. They're like a little wicker. I obviously don't need them right now because we don't have the beach house built, but how cute. Oh, stuck on the rug. They must be doing like a clean out because they have a good sale going on today, but it's not looking like they have anything that I need. All the pieces that they have are like long. I need something short, but look at this bed. That is seriously so cute, I'm obsessed with that. All their patio furniture back here is on sale. It's 50% off, so I'm gonna go look. Cause I feel like patio furniture is always kind of pricey, but. Maverick's down for his last little nap of the day. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get on the treadmill, but I wanted to share and show you guys the Peloton. We have it in the front room, just kind of like shoved in the corner. We also have a bed frame coming for this room. I decided not to do like a full office because I just work from like the kitchen island or the table in the living room. So I decided I would rather have a treadmill. So I got the Peloton one. I am obsessed with it. I feel like it looks very sleek. And one day if we ever have a home gym or an extra room, it obviously will look better, not shoved into the corner, but it's very, very nice. I've already used it multiple times and I'm like obsessed with it. Got my ball of bangle weights right here um, that I like put on my arms or my ankles when I'm walking. And then this is just like the speed here and then the incline. So it's really simple to work and use. Do a 12, 330. Hopefully I can fit the whole thing in before he wakes up. I put the same Lululemon long sleeve back on that I wore yesterday. And then I'm wearing Wonder Train biker shorts. I can link their biker shorts too. I love the Wonder Train style. Um, but yeah, Maverick's down for his last nap of the day. It normally doesn't last long, maybe like 25, 30 minutes. Um, and I think maybe in like a week or two because he's gonna hit five months on October 11th and it's like the end of September. So we've got about half a month, like two weeks until he's five months. So I think in about a week, I'm gonna try to start cutting out the third nap because on the taking care of baby schedule, when they hit five months, they go down to just three naps, I think. And right now he's taking like four short ones. So I'm trying to like slowly cut this nap out because honestly, sometimes he doesn't even take it. And I feel like when he doesn't take it, he sleeps better. But for the sake of me getting a workout and I put him down for a nap to see if he stays. He went down easily. I think he was tired from playing, but anyways.
It's been a little bit. I successfully did my 12 3 30, which I feel like is so underrated. It's actually so hard to get through the full 30 minutes at that exact speed in incline if you're not familiar with it. Incline 12 at speed 3 for 30 minutes, and it's actually like so hard. Um, but I got that done. He started kind of like moving around when I had like a minute or two left, which was nice. We're actually going out to dinner with some of Dylan's co-workers. I like do not have time to redo my makeup, even though it's so tragic. I have this zip popping up under my nose and it hurts so, so bad. Um, but we're going to meet two other couples at an Italian restaurant in the Gulch that we've actually never tried so i'm excited about that i did not have time to wash my hair and do all that obviously um dylan just got home is giving maverick a bottle we're trying to do the nighttime routine and then put him in his car seat and hoping that he just sleeps for dinner because we're having a late dinner it's at 7 45 is our reservation i told myself when i had a kid i wasn't gonna let things like this stop me there was a babysitter that i almost called that we have used once and she's great but i was like you know what the place is kid friendly so like we can bring maverick and i feel like he's just gonna sleep in his car seat because one he loves the car seat and two it's gonna be bedtime for him so i have him all like bathed we are doing a nighttime ball downstairs right now dylan's giving it to him and we have him in his jammies so then by the time we get home i can just put him like transfer him into his sleep suit and put him right into the crib and i'm hoping the transfer goes well if not i can always give him a little 10 o'clock bottle um so we'll see i'm not like too stressed about it if he fusses at dinner we can just leave i'll have dylan with me so i have the extra set of hands but i'm trying to be that parent that is go with the flow and still trying to live my life while have and raise a family and sometimes you just have to bring the kid to dinner so the other couples were like please bring Mav they like love him and want to see him so we're bringing him I just threw together this like mosh posh outfit I'm wearing the same park denim jeans that I had on earlier with some boots and then I threw on this little blouse that I got I feel like it's pretty cute I feel like it would look better with denim but to be honest you guys none of my jeans besides like one pair and they're in the wash are fitting me how I want them to fit me. I don't know, the past week I've been going kind of through it with the body image. Um, I feel like no one prepares you for the postpartum struggles of like trying to navigate being a new mom and then also trying to work on yourself and benefit yourself and your body when the day just keeps like slipping away. So I don't know, I'm trying to be kind to myself, but you know how it is. I'm a girl and that's just how it goes. But obviously when you have a baby, your body changes and I did not, oh no, did I just get deodorant? No, I did not prioritize working out when I was pregnant, which I do not regret. Like I'm fine with that decision. Next baby, will I try to get in the gym more? Probably yes. Um, honestly, not even for the body image thing, but to make labor maybe a little bit easier because I did labor for so long, even though I was induced. Just kind of having like a weird body image day. My sports bra was like cutting in to my shoulders. Mm -hmm.